Tom O'Neill of the Envelope with Christy Lemire of the Associated Press. Hi. We are <laughs> taking a look at that best picture race. It looks like Slumdog, Slam Dunk, or no? I love the idea that Slumdog almost didn't even make it to theaters. It almost went straight to DVD, <laughs> and now it's like the juggernaut front runner for best picture. It's a little bitty movie versus Benjamin Button, the huge visual spectacle, all two hours and 47 minutes of it, all 13 nominations that it has. But I do see Slumdog beating Benjamin Button. I really do. Do you see Benjamin Button having any hope at all? I think it could go 0 for 13. It could very easily lose everything. because it could. <laughs> Brad Pitt won't win, I don't think. I think yeah. Sean Penn will win Best Actor. Um, David Fincher won't win for Best Director. And all those technical categories, I think Dark Knight could get all of those same ones that... Benjamin Button's in, so it could wow. go over, I think, don't you? Yeah, yeah. The uh, biggest shutout in Oscar history is a tie between the turning point and the color purple at 11, so we may have a bigger shutout. History. Ever. We might see history in some way. Wow. Which you would like. The, uh, yes. The story we love that are. stuff, because I can shout it out to you in the press room. Right. Hey, Christy, another record's made. <laughs> so, but so what's your pick for Best Picture, then? Well, I think it's Slumdog. I think it's inevitable. It's the, I think it's a repeat of 1981, where we have Chariots of Fire, the little movie with a big heart. Beat Reds, which was the big studio picture with A-list stars and 12 nominations in that case. It's like Rocky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rocky winning. Was 76, was that? Mm -hmm. Somewhere yeah. around there. So. Yeah. That's right. It was the bicentennial year. So. Hey, good memory. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, unfortunately, you and I agree in almost all top categories. I think we do in all top categories. So, let's, let's pick the long shot. We know that there's... These are crazy people voting. They're capable of anything. So what could it be this year? In any category, what's yes. a long shot? If, if there was some crazy, like Wally winning the Screenplay Award. We well, know an animated movie's never done that. Well, Milk is ahead in the uh, uh, original screenplay race. Could we see Viola Davis beat Penelope Cruz? I think that's possible. That actually makes sense. I think Penelope Cruz is kind of vulnerable here because she's been nominated for the Golden Globe and for the SAG Award. She didn't win either of those. Luckily for her, Kate Winslet is in the Best Actress category, and she's not in supporting this time. Um, Viola Davis, though, could win that. I mean, she's fantastic in what, like five minutes of screen time, not even. And her performance is totally pivotal in providing context and making the film way less screechy and over the top. And she's just subtle and lovely. That would actually make sense to me. Mm -hmm. I think there's a remote chance Mickey Rourke could win Best Actor, but it's looking remote now. I think the problem he has is that it's a trashy role. These are snobs mm -hmm. voting, a Beverly Hills crowd. It, it's, a, it's a Beverly Hills crowd, but isn't the Oscar voting public, like, younger? Like, they're continually skewing, <laughs> no, skewing under, <laughs> under 70. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, under under, 70. okay, under 70. Um, yeah, right. And maybe they will view it as, um, as gritty and they'll relate to it as, like, the other actors who would vote for him would look at that as the kind of gritty, brave performance that they would like to do themselves someday. That's the only hypothetical I, I can imagine there. Okay, I think Meryl Streep could beat uh, Kate Winslet. I think Kate's vulnerable. This is Kate's year no matter what. You think? Yeah. She's absolutely, absolutely cannot be beaten, you're Especially saying. because she's nominated for The Reader and not for Revolutionary Road. Her work is much stronger in The Reader and much more subtle. And there's a greater arc to it than there is in Revolutionary Road, which I think is very one note and very screechy. Um, so she kind of lucked out, although it's not the way she wanted it to turn out, that she got nominated for that performance in that film. So I think she's good. And I think, you know... They feel sorry. So Meryl has no hope at all, you're saying? <laughs> Isn't it so sad? So Sister Aloysius doesn't right. have a prayer, you're saying? Is, oh, you were waiting <laughs> to use that line. I, I just came up with it, It's really. sad. No, I, I, Meryl's had enough acclaim Ooh, to last many, many lifetimes. It's been 25 years since she's had an Oscar. Come on, the poor thing. But Kate's had six nominations and none. That's so, true. I And I know she's only 33 years old, but I think they'll view it as sort of a, a lifetime achievement award for how great her career has been. Okay. I'll have to answer my cell phone now. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>